towards the back, right? Good morning, this is Jeff with Sewer Tech Northwest. Today we're at property address 3000 Crater Lane here in Newburgh. We're located at the back of the house, going through a three inch ABS clean out. We're gonna insert the camera and check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. Do have water running and we just zeroed out at the base of the clean out. Off we go. We just went past a little dangly item and I'll, I'll mention it as we come back at the end. It was just a glue drip. It's where someone put excess pipe glue in and it dripped down. It was not a root intrusion, but we'll revisit that here in a moment. Uh, and then we were going through a belly right here. It appears to be a very short lived belly. Another one we'll take a look at when we come out. Um, where I generally start considering repairs on bellies and plastic pipe anyhow is once there's an inch of water for at least a five to 10 foot section with buildup on top of that. That spot there looks like it's maybe two feet long. So anyhow, we'll, we'll come back to that here when the line's drained. And the line just switched over to four inch 3034 PVC pipe. Your drop and there's the main. Alright, we've reached the main here at 67 feet or 68. We're going to go locate that while the line drains. I right, located the camera head successfully. The line terminates out on Crater Lane. The line, and I described this if you're standing in the road looking at the front of the house. The line comes out the rear, kind of the rear right corner part of the house. And then wraps around the right side of the home and shoots out to the street. And if, you, if you're out in the roadway, just to the right of the home, there's another house the driveway and right about where this property meets up with it in their driveway you'll see an s stamped in the concrete that's right where the sewer line crosses into the roadway in case you're curious where the line's at and the line here is almost completely drained we're gonna pull back we'll take a look at that belly Alrighty, all the 3034, the green PVC pipe that looks good, drains very nicely. So here's where we come into that. Well, we have a little bit of standing water at the base of this drop. This is hardly even the belly. It, it stops about 46 feet and starts at 45. And, and we're talking about a, a quarter inch of standing water. It's way too minor, in my opinion, to require repairs. And the only thing that's collected here is a little bit of grease buildup. Bellies that are that small, and we're going to see another one here, I believe, in just a moment. Yeah, this one here dissipates out at about 41 feet. We've got just barely an inch of water. It might not even be quite an inch. And this one runs from... 39 to 41 feet. They're both very, very small bellies. That one's got about an inch of water in it. And you can see here, we've got a little bit of grease buildup, but when you pull back just before it, if this spot had ever blocked or even partially backed up, the top of the pipe here would be covered in debris buildup. So none of that has occurred. 
the, and I wouldn't really expect to see that anyhow, not unless a homeowner has, you know, some bad habits of putting paper towels and things like that down the line. That's about the only circumstance you're going to see a belly that small cause problems is if you're putting a lot of stuff down the line that shouldn't be going down there. Paper towels, tampons, flushable wipes, grease, stuff like that. Regular old toilet paper is shooting through there with no problem. You know, that little thing there, that's what I was mentioning earlier. That's a, it's just a glue drip. That's not a root. The one thing I will recommend here, we do have some grease buildup throughout the line. Most of it's right around the bellies. And that, that's about, as small as those bellies are, that's about the only thing you're going to consistently see hanging up in, in bellies that small. Other than, obviously, items that shouldn't be going down your line. Grease is one of those. But they like it likes to collect any time it hits standing water. The, the oil hardens up and then sticks there. So I'd recommend degreasing the sewer line and re-scoping to show the work. As far as the line goes itself, though, it appears to have adequate flow to the main lateral connection, and both the ABS and PVC portions of the line appear to be in good condition. Now, the sewer line is functioning at this time. It will function better if it's cleaned.